All right, it's Cards of the Week, and the first card is number 20, titled Prey of the Wampa. Let's learn more about the Wampa. Covered with shaggy white fur, standing at heights of up to 3 meters and weighing an average of 150 kilograms, Hoth Wampa ice creatures were lethal predatory beasts. They possess long, powerful arms, razor-sharp claws capable of carving layers out of ice and a fanged maw. Aided by an acute sense of smell and a well-camouflaged coat of thick fur, the carnivorous Wampas roamed Hoth's icy plains preying on near-helpless animals. Wampas ranged in height from 2.2 to 3 meters, with an average height of 2.5 meters, weighed up to and occasionally exceeding 200 kilograms, and had eerie yellow eyes. Adult wampas possessed short, jagged, curving horns, which were an indication of age. The horns began to appear at the onset of puberty and continued to grow larger as the wampa aged. Wampas' horns were similar to those of Hoth native tauntauns, though the two species were entirely unrelated. Wampas had a single heart within their thoracic cavity. That's it for now. More information on the the next Wampa card. And now it's the back side of the card and it's Story Digest. Prey of the Wampa. Luke, suspended from the ceiling of an ice cave by the rampaging Wampa, manages to free himself from certain doom by using his amazing lightsaber, the weapon first introduced to him by Obi-Wan Kenobi. The next card is number 22 titled, But Sir, I Mv Let's learn more about the legendary adventures of Han Solo. Han learned from one of the other attendees to locate the pirate Raskar for the sole known power gem remaining in existence. After locating Raskar and orchestrating a fight between Chewbacca and the reigning victor of the tournament outside of the ring so he could get close and find out how much power is left in the power gem, he acquired the power gem. He also swore that he'll keep the true status of the shield properties of the power gem a secret after he learned about its decrease in power, as he and the Rebel Alliance only intended to use the gem once anyway, although he secretly attended to loot Raskow of all his ill-gained items as his punishment for the scam. After he returned to Yavin base with the power gem, he learned from Leia that Luke didn't make it back to Yavin due to an ambush. After the evacuation of Yavin 4, the rebellion was left without a base. Han and Chewbacca aided Han's new elite fighting force, Renegade Squadron led by Cole Serra, in obtaining a holocron made by Bail Prestor Organa before Alderaan's destruction. The holocron Holocron, encased in Frick, survived the planet's demise and contained a list of potential bases for the Alliance. During the battle to obtain it, Han was contacted by Boba Fett, who demanded the Holocron. The bounty hunter was fought off by the squadron, however, and the Holocron was successfully obtained. That's it for now. More information on the next Han Solo card. And now it's the back side of the card, and it's Story Digest. An impatient Han Solo decides to set out on his own to rescue Luke. When faithful droid 3PO voices some concern, Solo cuts the conversation short with one persuasive gesture. Alright, those are the cards of the week. Look out for the next cards. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and click subscribe. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.